Good afternoon, sir. Can I see your papers, please? See, Amma, I meant your particulars, the particulars for this car. See, Amma. You know, Amma, please calm down. Officer, even I say this in my hand, I said calm down. Officer, Sergeant! Come, 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 come. Make sure he provides his particulars. If he doesn't have them, this car doesn't move. Yes, sir. You hear me? Ah, I gotta bring your key. Ah. Fast, fast, my friend. Don't waste my time. Get me your key. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, officer. Please, may I see your uh, papers? I don't have them in here with me. Well, madam, I'll have to arrest you and this car, except you give me a genuine reason why your papers are not in the car. Will this be good enough reason? Oh, sorry. I forgot. I left them in my bag. That's okay. Huh. I presume Chief Izura is your husband because the car is registered in his name. Exactly, but you forgot this. Look, madam, you almost got into trouble offering me bribe the first time. We let all cheap in the Nigerian police. Please don't try it again. This is your papers. You can leave. And please don't do it again. God loves you. Officer! Officer! Yes, madam? Any problem? Not really, but it's nice to see that we have one man up for this man. Thank you, ma'am. What's your name? I'm Benedict Asaru. Have this. Easy, officer. You boys are doing a great job. Thank you, sir! Just keep it up. Yes, sir! Veronica Izuma. Hey, 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 hey! Come, you! Who asked you to go? Look at, look, look at this club. Go, go, get him. Who asked you to go? I don't say you are born now. You did what? I don't say Come here. Come here. Did you collect money from this one? I I do. I'll give you a hundred naira. Give me hundred naira. Return it. Return it! That's the problem. Can you imagine? This rascal here is collecting bread. Sergeant, I'm disappointed. Sorry, sir. And come to think of it that you're in our fellowship. Huh? My mistake, I beg. Maybe sir, I don't get paper. I forgot my paper for house. Hey, 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 you stop it! Aiding our betting bribery. Take 
take the bike, go to your house, bring your papers, and get this car to this place, or else I will burn the both of you. Stay on him. I bet I bet only hundred naira get. You don't you don't seem to get it right. We don't take bribes. Did you hear me? Not every policeman is corrupt. Now get into this car and we're taking this car to the station now. Get into this car. Get in. I said get into the car. Move this car. Get in. Get inside. My friend. Oh, I said get in. Come. Get in. 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 are like a son to me. I cannot sit by and watch you go astray. Sir, if you're talking about chief, I am coming. Let me finish. This is my 25th year in the force. I think I've known all I'm supposed to know as a police officer. I do not like the way you were going about things. But if you said anything, I am coming. Let me finish. First and foremost, every police officer is supposed to know about influential people within his area. Chief is a well-connected man. Well, sir. Chief Azubiki might be connected, but he's definitely not connected to me. Ben, Chief is a very, very influential man. That his personal assistant you are detaining has been troubling him and he wants him released. <clears throat> uh, that is why he sent this message to me. To you, we can always think of a better tomorrow. If Chief wins the election, you can be rest assured of your future. Eh? Think about it. Well, sir, my future is assured by my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, sir, but I must say this. I am disappointed. Sir, you are my role model. You are my mentor in the force. And of course, a born again Christian, sir. How, how could you ask me to release a man with a freshly cut human head in his boots? Because he's an assistant to a, a senatorial aspirant? No, sir. Like I told you before, it is bad, but we just have to look at the other side of the picture. No, sir. I insist I will not withdraw the case, sir. And I insist on taking him to court. Sir, with due respect, sir, I'd like to go back to the works. seem not to be in a very good mood. 
You're not looking too happy. What's the problem? See, nothing upsets me more like when men I look up to as being responsible and dedicated disappoint me. And by that, I guess you're talking about the CP. Yes! Yes! He encouraged me into the police force. He preached to me on two occasions before I gave my life to Christ. Do not, the same man is offering me bribe. Why? Why? I'm talking your business. You make it sound like he's superhuman. I mean, for crying out loud, he's as human as you and I. And instead of condemning him, maybe we should be praying for him, not judging him. Oh, Julius is going to court. Except I'm not the IPO in this case. My brother, you have to take it easy. If they like, and then transfer me. I will petition the IG. Relax. Make it sound as if it's do that. Um, uh, have you settled the matter? Honestly, CP, I am not happy one bit with the way you're handling this case. What, oh, Chief? I have been trying my best. Your best is not good enough. You seem not to be able to handle these two boys. Eh? With your power and position, you can do a lot more. If they refuse to cooperate, you will fend them with a sack. That is how it is done. It is not going to be easy, Chief. If I try that, there will be petition all over the place against me. Those boys are very popular among some senior officers. They are just untouchable. Who cares? Omale, I pay you good money and expect good services. Donald and Ben must be out of the way and my boy must be out of that cell whether you like it or not. Please relax, Chief. Eh? I will see what I And I'm not here to battle one with you. The I... next time I come here, you see my true colors. Good day. I will see what I can do, Chief. Better do something. Calm down and tell me. What's it about? You know, immediately you left the hospital after praying for Corporal Benson. Immediately you finished praying and left. The guy snapped. He woke up. He rose again from the dead. The doctors. Stop. Hey, carry on. The doctors could not. Did you it properly? Yes, sir. Come here, come here. Did you sell it properly? Yes, sir. Get down. Do it right. All oh, these are our boys. We didn't grow like this. You know, you know one CP. Carry on. No one IG. I think you are joking with God's giftings in your life. You have the gift of healing. You should work on it. Seriously. To God be the glory. No, I'm serious. You should, you should be listening Let to God. Let no man take glory to himself. Amen. He who has started a good job in our life okay. will be faithful. To crown it. Amen. Amen. I give him a glory. For consider it to grow. <laughs> because they touch me and anointing me. No. I'm going back to the hospital. I said, let me just come back and tell me. All right, then. Uh, well, I don't see it. All right. Uh, Captain Babo. Uh, you want to see me, sir? Yes, are you ASP Benedict? Yes, sir. Please sit down. Yes, so, how may I help you, sir? Do you recognize this face? Of course, yes. You are a senatorial aspirant. And I remember I was once detailed to you. Do somebody else got the job? It's okay. How sad. 
if you had worked out, obviously there wouldn't have been need for this meeting. How do you mean? I mean, you haven't told me the reason for this meeting, sir. Oh, there's this small favor I want you to do for me. Just a little favor. If you do it right, you get to know why people refer to me, Chief Azubike, as a very generous man. Very generous indeed. A favor? Yes. And what might that favor be? Very simple. Just release my boy for me. Get him off the hook. Was he working under your instruction? No, 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 no. no. Yeah, no just that, you know, this boy is... Uh... Good. Or else I will have had to arrest you for being an accessory to murder. <laughs> Officer, I have heard so much about your reputation. In fact, some say that any other man, but for you or your friend, you have to secure your future as a young man. And let me also advise you at this point that being a difficult police officer does not encourage promotion in any way. Thank you, sir. But, but uh, from the sound of your name, I presume I know you are a Christian and you read the Bible. The Bible says, I am content. I arrested your boy with a freshly cut human head. That is first degree murder and he must be prosecuted. Why don't you calm down, young man? Come down and name your price. Price? Did you say price? Yes. Such if you made me feel cheap. Well, let's just say the price he's going to pay is that he will be arraigned in a lower court. And whatever punishment is deemed fit for him, so be it. It's very important to me, young man, that this matter does not get to the court for any reason. And that's why I demand that you name your price. I am prepared to pay you right here. Chief, save your money. You need a good lawyer. My young man, I admire your courage. I will need lots and lots of your time in the police. It's just that, in a flood, the broomstick gets washed away. Thank you very much for the profile. ASP Ben is a real man. The battle I have drawn, I will tell you. Accept bribes. Please, sir, this is what I have for you, please. Appreciate it, sir. I will make it, I will increase it tomorrow, sir. No, it's not about the money, okay? I don't take bribes, okay? Please, sir. Hello, baby. Yeah, honey. Sir. Mama, welcome. Um, it was lovely. Good evening, officer. Why 
Why are you standing outside? Come in and have a drink. Oh, thank you, madam. I think I can't stay long. I'm going. Uh, okay, yes, maybe next time. Going, going, going. All going. right. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, sir, please, please. You want to give me a gift? Yes, sir. Then visit my church on Sunday, or at least you come to the house fellowship in my house. Will you? I will, sir. Then, I'm already appreciated. Okay? Becky, do you know God is awesome and worthy to be praised? Mm. You remember that, um, remember that our colleague I was just singing about? Mm -hmm. Inspector James, now the guy that had an accident, that I told you was a mass of blood and tissue. Yeah. Jesus Christ. The doctors had given up on him. Your husband came from nowhere. I was watching him. You know, with this serious assurance. My dear, Braben laid hands on this guy. Just one short word of prayer. Father, I thank you for this one because he's not going to die. That was all. Believe me, the guy started breathing. The doctors were amazed. Amen. Jesus Christ. You know, Braben does not even know how much God has put into him. I think he does. I pray he does. Because that's no, this gift of healings. He prayed for him. This guy woke up, said coffee. I know, you know. Sometimes I just have this belief that God has called Braben for greater things. God has put so much in him that one of these days I know he will stand in the pulpit and he will reach the nations for Christ. Amen. I know God will use him to touch people, Amen. touch lives for Christ. Amen. I know he will reach peoples for Jesus. Amen. I know one thing, no, I, I see it, I feel it, I sense it in my bone marrow that God is calling Brother Ben. Someday, <laughs> that your husband is going to be Reverend Ben and you will be Reverend Mrs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he looked. Well, I'll be leaving you from here. We'll be going for evangelism and um, take care of yourself. When he comes, tell him I called. I'm always that. Tell him you should be praying for me. All right, Mama. Please pray for us as we eat. Okay, man. All right. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, bless this food that we're about to eat. We thank you for this great provision. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for providing <laughs> us with oh, this. Impeccable timing for good food. Eh? We thank you for your goodness and mercy. Forgive us our sins, O Lord. O Lord, for we know they are much. May it not be our portion to live on bribes. For you are able to provide all our needs according to your riches in glory. By Christ Jesus, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Good evening, Mama. Good evening, Donald. Mm. You have a very good timing for meals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Mama, anybody would. I mean, what with the way Becky cooks, I mean, her uh, meals are perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, what is in a woman if she can't cook a simple meal? Rebecca, get a plate for Donald. Bro, it's half now. Hey, half hour. Did you yeah. go for the CP lecture? Um, no, I couldn't make it. I, I went to the force headquarters. What? So who signed my register for me? Uh, Bagudu went for us. Sorry, help yourself with the mat. 
No, Mama, don't worry. Let me serve myself. I know, I know my gauge. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you just prepare this meal as if you knew I was going to come. <laughs> Do you blame the government or the people? A lot of taxpayers' money is used to fund and equip the police force. But what do the taxpayers get in return? Mama, I I agree we have bad eggs in the police force, okay? But that's not to say there are no born again Christians, okay? Yeah, like you. Mm. Policeman. Born again. <laughs> that will be it. I don't agree with you. Never. A policeman can never be born again. A policeman is only a bribe receiver. A policeman is always a Ah, uh, uh, Mama. <clears throat> but Mama, you said it a moment ago yourself. That they can't be evil without good. Sure. So I mean, if they are bad policemen, then certainly there must be good ones too. And so why are we making so much noise about all this? We should be talking about Becky's meals. I mean, Mama, if Becky cooks this well, I wonder how your cooking will be. Becky. Well, Becky tried. But she should go easy on the salt. Mmm. Uh -huh. Maybe one day I'll cook for you. Mama, I can't wait for that day to come. Yeah, I will extend an invitation to you. I will invite you. You will eat my food. Your cooking must be bad. Uh, no, food, sir. Just pray it doesn't become an idol in your life. Mm -mm -mm. Not by any chance. What happens here is that I'm good with timing. I mean, perfect timing. And you always come at the right timing. Okay. <laughs> mm. That reminds me. Donald. Mama. I wonder what a handsome and agile man like you is still doing. Why aren't you married? <laughs> Answer. You should be married by now, even if you are a policeman. Mama, I'm... I'm waiting for God's timing. What? <laughs> <laughs> Holy! If I was in my uniform, I would have arrested you. Oh, what to cheat us? Because time is a question. What is your own time? Mm. Now you're remembering God. When you time food, you don't remember God. Now you to time a woman, you're remembering God's time. When it's for food, it's my talent. <laughs> Put in some efforts, mm. and then God will position the woman for you to find. Because you have to search first before you find the woman. He says, He that findeth a woman. Find her. I will obtain favor in the sight of God. So go and find her. Yeah, she's somewhere in this house. Hey, 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 hey. God is awesome. Ooh. Hallelujah. You know, amen, amen. Braben, God is dropping it on my heart that we should start a fellowship in the office. I don't know. What do you think about it? Oh, yes, um, I think so too. God. Though I know. Seven people might kick against you. You know now. But I'm trusting God to speak to their minds. Amen. I don't see anything wrong in praising God at the start of a new day. Anyway, I'll see you at the office tomorrow. Oh, it's well, it's well. Do take care of yourself. And that, that, that reminds me, are you not supposed to be presiding over the house fellowship tomorrow? Oh, well, by God's grace. And I'm also believing him to show me the particular Bible verse to teach you people. Amen. 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 Alright, good night, man. Good night. Uh, uh, your car, you've not fixed it? My brother, that car is fast becoming an idol in my life. I'm trusting God to do something about it. <laughs> God has to do something about that. Well, it's a faithful God. Alright, good, good night. night.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, brethren, it is God that placed us wherever we are. He wants each and every one of us to be ministers of the word. For him, wherever we find ourselves. You see, we can't all be pastors. We can't all be preachers. But he has placed us wherever we find ourselves to spread the gospel of Christ. You see, if you look at the book of Exodus chapter 4 verse 2, God asked Moses, Moses, what do you have in your hand? Ordinarily, Moses said, Oh God, I have just an ordinary shepherd staff. Ordinary. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you know that story too well, you get to know what the so-called ordinary shepherd staff was able to perform. Hallelujah. Amen. Before God, nothing is ordinary. Nothing shall be ordinary. Nothing will ever be ordinary. Amen. Not even a glass of water. So God wants us to be of great service to him wherever we find ourselves. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Brethren, we're going to go into prayers now. We're going to ask God, ask him to forgive us for any way we've not represented him. Fine. I think uh, you are in a wrong profession. You're supposed to be a pastor. No, 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 no. I think I'm in the right profession. I think God wants me in this profession. You see, the force needs vibrant young men like you and I to make that desired change. Hmm? Well, sir, I must be going. You have given me food for thought. Well, I hope enough to make you give your life to Christ. Uh, well, no problem. I have to think about it. Think properly. Okay. Thank you, sir. Sure, sir. I hope you did not take what I told you personal. Oh, no, I did not, sir. Uh, but I was somewhat disappointed. You are an elder in the church. How could you condone such, sir? You see, I've gotten to an age where one has to be more conservative. With time, you too will realize that what will be, will be. So how do you translate that to your belief? Um, you see, I love God. I try to be a good man. But the force Sometimes you just have to look the other way. With time, you two will learn to live and let's live. Sir, the Bible says we should not be conformed to the world. And in another verse, it said that we are in the world, but we're not of the world. Sir, he killed. I'm not here to draw a disparity between small or bigger sins, but before the law which you and I have sworn to uphold, sinful mother is the biggest crime. You know what? I like the fire in you. <laughs> you made me repent from my ways. <laughs> oh, well, sir. It's neither by power nor by might. But my spirit says a lot of force. Anyway, you pray for me. We shall meet at the office tomorrow. All right, sir. Sir, is. Uh, uh, yes, sir. So, uh, Jesus. What is it? I can't believe. What? It is good to praise the Lord. It is good to praise the Lord. It is good to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come, tell me, what is it? I'm dead of jealousy now. What is it? Honey. Yeah? I'll be. I'll be. Hey, 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 Praise God! No, 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 oh. no! What are you doing? What am I carrying? Oh, well, that's what you get for carrying two people. Sorry. Um, ah, uh, yeah. I just wanted to surprise you. Mm-hmm. Junior is underway. Ha! Oh, God, you're faithful! Amen. <laughs> you keep your promises! <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. <laughs> you know, today we're going for a special lunch. Okay, I'm in for it. So now, you go dress, you know that your gown. Which one? I bring out the hips. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, then. All right. Congrats. Oh, baby, sit down again. Let's go get it. So we go to Chinese. It's okay. Have some prongs, huh? Okay. Celebrate this thing, you know? Whoa. Whoa. I miss my eyes. Whoa. Thank you, God. Honey, you don't know how excited I am. Look, at first headquarters alone, the allowance we'll get will be what? Double of my salary. Maybe don't you think you're going too fast? Oh, look you, fear, fear. I'm telling you good news, you're there scared. Huh? Baby, watch out! <laughs> Relax, relax, relax. You're hurting yourself. Please, relax. Please. Just relax. Everything will be alright. Don't worry. You will see him. Oh, madam, madam, you're hurting yourself. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Don't worry. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry. Just relax. Relax. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Congratulate you, I mean, us for. <laughs> for what if? For the downfall of our arch enemy, Superintendent Ben. I heard he's in coma, is that correct? Tell <laughs> <laughs> what I told you. I told you to take things easy, that things will take care of themselves. They have. 
They really, really have. Please, what do I offer? That calls for celebration. Uh, actually, I came to see you just because of that. <laughs> so, Christian, I am not running along. We'll no, 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 no. We'll see you at the club. I need you. I need you. Time at the club. What? Yeah, I'll be there for you. I will be fine. Right. Chief. <laughs> have a so have a great day to yourself. Oh my dear. Yeah. Chief, chief. Bye. My regards, sir. Chief himself. <laughs> The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Doctor, how is she? Oh, she's doing as well as can be expected. But it is not the superficial wound that I'm afraid of, it's uh, the psychological one. Like what? Like the loss of the baby. It can be quite dramatic. Okay. Let's thank God that she's alive. Lord, have your way. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, man. In my life, oh Lord, have your way. In my life, oh Lord, have your way. In my life, oh Lord. It's okay, it's okay, dear. You will have another one. God will give you another child. Okay? Just rest. Wait, Ben. Just rest. Ben is okay. Okay? I not see you. No. Um, now listen to me, dear. You will see Ben. I want to assure you that Ben is alive. Hmm? And you will certainly see him. But what is important now is that you get well first, okay? That's not real, though. That's not real. <laughs> but what do you think? It's okay. Ah, the doctor is here. It's all right. Tell me. She's becoming restless, right? Yes. Okay. okay. Doctor, what is that my son in law still saying? He's still being insistent. Oh, doctor, I was about to ask you. It's okay, dear. It's okay. It's okay, okay? Huh? It's okay. You will see Ben. Just get fine, okay? Eh? Rest and get some strength. Then later you can see Ben, okay? Let me read the Bible for you. Listen, my dear, let me read the Bible for you. You'll get better with the Word of God.
I'm just coming from your wife's room. How is she healing? Well, but it would have been better if she has seen you. She has been asking after you all day and it's becoming more difficult making excuses. See her, doctor. You can't or you won't. Do doctor, you can't understand. On the contrary, I do, but I'll say I'll be inhuman if I don't. But speaking from a medical and professional point of view, I think you both have to find a way of handling this. But it will take some time, doctor. You know, I need some time, you know. One more day then. Just one more day or else I'll wheel her into your room. I've done all I can for you. She is my next concern. Men ask me where is your God. Men love me to scorn. People look at me and despise me. And ask me where is your Lord. I believe in you All through my life I know you would never let me down oh. I can't see her, Doctor You can't or you won't Do Doctor, you can't understand On the contrary, I do, but I'll say I'll be inhuman if I don't But speaking from a medical and professional point of view I think you both have to find a way of handling this. But it will take some time, doctor. You know, I need some time, you know. One more day then. Just one more day or else I'll wheel her into your room. I've done all I can for you. She is my next concern. Men ask me where is your God? Men love me to scorn. People look at me and despise me. And ask me, where is your Lord? I believe in you. All through my life, I know you would never let me down. But Lord, the pains are too much. Lord, have your way. Good day, Chief. Good day. You are a young man, very young man, with a bright and promising future. But if you can only enjoy that future with the help of men of affluence like me. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about, Chief. Come on, son. You understand perfectly what I'm talking about. Don't end up like your friend, Ben. What is it today? What about his uh, rather than die attitude? What has it given him? Absolutely nothing. I hear he hardly fixes a meal in his house these days. Uh, not to talk of hospital bills. Look, ensure yourself now by setting my boy free, and you'll be glad you did. <laughs> Name your price. Don't name your price. I'll write you a check immediately. Chief, chief! One more word from you. And you'll be surprised what strings are pulled against you. May God help you if you come out of this alive. If he's dead, people should tell me, let me mourn him. 
tell me? Becky, he's not dead. Why are you stressing yourself? Stop crying. Don't stress yourself I'm unnecessarily. I'm going stress myself. If you're promising me he's coming, if he's dead, tell me. God will give me this strength. I can take it. I can take any news. He's not dead. Look at me, Becky. You know I would not lie to you. I saw him before coming here. He's alive. Why would he come? Tina, where is your brother? My brother is okay. Please stop crying. He is okay. You will see him soon. <laughs> I don't understand again. If he's dead, you should tell me. Why would he come and see me? Okay, let me go and see him. Just wait. He will come and see you. Have your way, Lord, in my life. Stop crying now. Have your way in my life, oh Lord. Have your way in my life, oh Lord. Oh, I can't see her. At least not now. What do you mean by not now? What do you mean by that? What do you mean I can't see her? At least not for now. You have to see her. Tina, talk to your brother. I'm running out of patience with this is talk so. See, this is silly talks. So I can't see her. I can't see her. I don't have patience for this nonsense. So. Talk to him. Oh. I don't have this patience. So. My patience is running out. So. He must go and see her. Brother, why don't you want to see her? Don't you love her anymore? How can you say a thing like that? Of course I still love her. Then you will come and see her. Brother, when you got married to her, you took vows for better, for worse. You have to come and see her. You don't understand, sister. You don't. You don't. I warned Rebecca. I warned Rebecca, but she wouldn't listen. I warned Rebecca. I told Rebecca that Ben is not a Christian. But she wouldn't listen. She told me all sorts of stories about Ben. Can you imagine? You married her against my wish, so you must see her. Mama, I think we have said what we have to say to him. Let's go back to back history. Brother, mm. think about what I said to you. I will tell Becky you're coming to see her this evening. I've not made up my mind. That's all I can say. Please. Brother, you have to come and see her this evening. Oh. Mama. Mama, let's go. Let's go to back history. And you better think twice. So you must come and see my daughter. I thought you are a Christian. I thought you are a Christian, but you've proved of that otherwise. You married her against my wishes, so you must come and see her. What you started, you must complete. You must see her. You must see her. Maybe something held him up. Let me go and see him. Don't worry, he will soon be here. He's coming. He's just at the hallway. Okay, let me go and meet him. No, it's okay. Why don't you just wait? I think he'd prefer to come in and meet you. It's okay, just sit down, relax. Relax. It's all right. I don't understand. It's okay. I 
prayed and I prayed and I prayed. Thank God you are alive. Baby, I am sorry. I know we lost our baby, okay? But God spread our life and we can still have more, okay? So just get up and let's go home, okay? I've missed you so much. I'm so happy, God. You what? Jesus! No! Jesus! No! 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 Oh, that will be okay. No! 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 In the fullness of time, everything will be all right. The Bible says that we must be patient. And that no matter what happens, at all times we must give glory to Almighty Father. You will walk. You will walk. You will. You will walk. The Bible tells us to be patient. No. God has a purpose for all of us, and um, we are positive. So everything will be fine. Okay. Oh. Baby, you will walk. You will. You will! You will! Uh, that's okay. Don't move me, you know? That's fine. No, baby. No, you won't! No, no, no! It's okay. No! No! Lord unto you, I lift up my burdens, the let the world laugh me to scorn, save me out of the shame. Wipe away all my tears My faith is on you It is true that we sometimes wonder why things happen the way they do But again I ask Isn't that what our religion is all about? For the Bible says that without faith No man can please God Therefore, brothers and sisters I enjoin you to have faith and believe that no matter the situation that we are in, that God, Almighty God, is in control. Amen. Amen, Amen Pastor. Amen. Pastor, you know these past few months have been, have been very trying for, for every one of us. But I know God in His infinite mercies will take good care of Hallelujah! Food! My best part! <laughs> you are food! Uh. Food is ready, folks. Mmm. Foodie, foodie, goodie, goodie, yummy, yummy. Mm. Just a little will do. A little will do. Thank you, Father. Pastor, are you, Pastor, are you watching your complexion, your weight, or your height? Yes. <laughs> I think you should do this. No, no. Yeah, so that's what I was going to do. I should be, I should be 
getting married soon, you know. So that my wife will be serving me the way Brother Ben's wife is serving him diligently. <laughs> you know, everybody, every, everybody is saying I'll soon pack the whole food. <laughs> Now let me be a gentleman to help us as well. My Tina. Uh, uh, Pastor, why don't you pray for us? Shall we? We pray. <laughs> In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the precious blood of Jesus. Amen. Father, we give you glory and honor, spiritual. We ask you. Bless this food, Lord, that is thy gift which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Mm. God is good. <laughs> mm. Oh. There's nothing as good as a well-prepared meal. Mama must confess you did a great job teaching Sister Becky here how to cook. <laughs> Incidentally, it wasn't even Becky that cooked the meal. Mm. It was Tina. <laughs> My own Tina? Yes. <laughs> but of course I gave her a few tips. Well, indeed Tina is right. Mm. Uh, I just have a little problem here. I would have been much happy if our couple here had eaten their own food. And we are eating, just that we don't have much appetite. Darling. Yes, sir. I think that will do. I remember we had something before we came out, so... Oh, okay. I thank you so much. Mm? Okay, all right. And I can even see from the looks on everybody's faces here that we're all tired. <laughs> so, why don't you just speak for us and we call it a day? Let us speak for ourselves. <laughs> of course, don't have yes, having fun. Anyway. I was about saying that, so let us all close our eyes and pray. <clears throat> In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the precious blood of Jesus. Amen. For I will thank you so much for sparing the lives of this family. For I will know that the recent past events have been a trial one. But you have equally said that you cannot permit a trial that we cannot handle. Amen. Therefore, Father. We beseech you and ask you to give this family the serenity to weather the storm. Amen. But I give them the wisdom to manage this crisis period. Amen. Father, I will thank you for your faithfulness, even in the midst of unfaithfulness. These and other things we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I, brothers and sisters, the day is fast spent. And if I say goodnight, I hope you will not mind. Mm -hmm. Now, Hey, mm -hmm. Pastor, I think I should be joining you too. Saying goodnight. Besides, I'm on night duty too. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks, Dr. Uh, that's all right. Brother Ben. Um, Brother Ben, yeah. we shall be here tomorrow. Thank you. Mama? Good night. Thank you so much. Right, Mama. God bless you. God bless, God bless you. Good night. It is well. Mm, good Thank night. You. Good night, Donna. Ah, yes, it is well. Brother? Mm? Good night. Make sure I'll see you tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. Mama, good night. Good night, my dear. That was a good meal. Thank you. Okay. <sighs> and I will take my leave too. Good night, children. Mama, good night. Good night, my dear. Good night, Ben. Ben, good night. Mama, good night. Baby, let's go. No, you. You can go, I'll join you later. Are you 
you okay? You've been awfully quiet. Mm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Just that. Uh, go up. I'll, I'm coming. Again. You're making breakfast again for him, but you know he wouldn't eat. <sighs> Becky, I know Ben is going through emotional stress now, but is he not a man? Why is he going about it as if we cost Mama? Some feeling. Do you know what it means for an active man to be suddenly trapped in a chair? Do you? Becky, I know, and I am not unfeeling. I know he is going through emotional stress now. But even the doctor says he has a chance. I knew my husband would work again, except he's not the God I serve. Good. But do you know what happened yesterday? He did not pray with us. How did you know? I saw him. Mama, how can you see him when your eyes are closed and you're praying? Becky, what exactly do you mean by that? Nothing. God. Mama, I have enough problems on my own, okay? Don't compound situations for me. Oh, Becky, I, your mother, I now compound situations for you. Oh, my God. Oh, Becky. I was only just trying to help. That was all. But I never knew that I was a situation compounder. Mama, it's just... Just forget it, okay? It was just a slip of tongue. Have pity on me and 
wipe away my tears and don't let me be ashamed Lord have your way Lord have your way in my life oh Lord have your way in my life oh Lord have your way Ask me where is your God? Men laugh me to scorn. People look at me and despise me and ask me where is your Lord? I believe in you. All through my life I know you would never let me down. But Lord, I wish you breakfast. I'm not hungry. Is your leg giving you a problem? I'm okay. If you're okay, why won't you eat? I mean, you hardly ate yesterday. I said I'm not hungry. You, you need it for your, for your upkeep. I mean, yes. Like I said leave me alone. Okay. Go. I don't understand, sir. I wish the situation and circumstance were different. Good night. I give you my all, I believe in you, Lord, all through my life. I never thought anything would come between us. Have pity on me and wipe away my tears and don't let me be ashamed, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way in my life, oh Lord. Have your way in my life, oh Lord. Have your way. In my life, oh Lord. Men ask me, where is your God? Men laugh me to scorn. People look at me and despise me. And ask me, where is your Lord? I believe in you. All through my life, I know you would never let me down. But Lord, the pains are too much. Lord, have your way. Have your way, oh Lord, in my life. Have your way. Have your way in my life, oh Lord, have your way. Thank you. I understand. Please take it easy, okay? It will be alright. Why? Till I tell me when. What have I done? Is it my fault? He doesn't talk to me. I thought he was just here. He, he had gone far in the bedroom. What have I done? He doesn't talk to me. He can't tell me anything. I'm human, okay? I am. I can't make you go concern before somebody's coming and sees you.
Me olhar. For you. Am I missing? I want us to talk. What about? Your wife Becky has been crying all day. And did, did she tell you I beat her? Brother, that girl loves you. Mm. If Papa and Mama were alive today, they wouldn't allow you to maltreat her the way you're doing. So I will not sit here and watch you stress so, her. So you're now my father and my mother, right? Brother, that's exactly what we've been to each other since we lost our parents. Brother, apart from me and your wife, the major entity in your life is God. God? That was a long time. He has stopped having me. As for Becky, I'm not sure. And you, you'd better be careful. What did the doctor say? He said he'll be removing the stitches in two days. I got you some things. I got you some biscuits and um this to help your appetite. I never told you I have a problem with my appetite. I'm healing well and he'll be removing the stitches in two days. <sighs> That's some good news. At least let us have some peace and cheers in this house instead of mournful faces all over the place. If the household depresses you, why don't you leave us alone and go? Did I hear you right? I'm trusting God for his healing. That guy needs to come back to work. Oh, what is wrong with him? Have you been talking to your friend at all? Who, Ben? Yeah. <laughs> About what? He is becoming more difficult by the day. Even you are complaining. 
I thought it was your one and only darling big brother. Ben Ben. ben. You said one and only. My brother said if I talk, he's going to disown me. Papa Ben, no. <laughs> disown you. <laughs> How can he disown you now? Eh? It's impossible now. Ben cannot disown you. Come on. What, 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 what's wrong? Come on. Come on. Come on. Why are you crying? No, 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 no. You shouldn't do that. Okay. We all should be strong for Ben, you know? Yeah. We all should be strong. I mean, this is the time he needs us most. If he, if he breaks down, we all break down. It's not going to work out that way. Yeah. Right? I thank God for his wife, Becky. Becky is really taking it in her stride. All Ben needs from us now is we come together, join hands in prayer, and pray for him. All right? The Bible says we should trust in the Lord with all of our hearts, all of our hearts, the entirety of our hearts, mm? everything. Yeah. Mm? That's what we should do. Pray for Him. Amen. Yeah. Good night. All of your hearts. That's what you need to do. Okay. Where are my keys? Yep. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Yeah. Good night. Thank you. going through a difficult time but I wish he could talk. Okay, yesterday he insulted my mom. You have got to be patient, sister. The watchword here is patience. You know, it's not easy for a man who was once agile to suddenly find himself trapped in a wheelchair. I think he needs to tolerate him more. Hmm? I really wish he could say something. You see, his problem is more psychological than physical. But again, I agree with you. I mean, he has to work it out for himself. On our own part, what we need to do is to pray for him and um, encourage him. Hmm? Anyway, you've got to hold on, sister. The Lord is with you. Okay? Uh, we shall come visit him tomorrow. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. It's okay. Send me your family. I will. finished reporting me. I wasn't reporting you. I just talked. Look, look, look. Let, let me make this clear to you. If you'd like to take my case to the defense minister, I will do as I please. Okay? Baby, I love you. Um, I feel your pain. Look, look, look. Feel pity for me. I don't want any pity from nobody. Okay? My feet is on you. Oh, 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 oh,
to Matthew chapter 17, verses 19 to 20. And let us hear you read it out. Matthew 17. Matthew 17, 19 to 20. Then the, then the disciples came to Jesus. Then the disciples came to Jesus. And asked him. And they asked him. Yes. Master, why couldn't we drive out the demon? Master, why couldn't we drive out the demons? And Jesus answered. And Jesus answered. It is because of your unbelief. It was because of your unbelief. I assure you. I assure you. If your faith is as big as a mustard seed. If your faith is as big as a mustard seed. You will say to this mountain. You shall say to the mountain. Be moved. Be moved. And, and it, will move. it shall come to pass. Thank you brother. So brothers and sisters. It is said. If two people. Can agree. As taught in something. It shall be done unto them. So, brothers and sisters, let us begin to thank Almighty Father because we are more than two. Let all of us agree that our brother here will walk. Let us now begin to speak to his legs. Now, I want you to stand and let us open our mouths and pray to the Almighty Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, 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 Lord,
uh, Brother Ben. Yes, Pastor. I have been led by the Spirit. I have been observing that um, you do not seem to participate in our prayers. What is the problem? Uh, I don't understand you, Pastor, because I, I participate in prayers. Oh, I am happy that um, you do. Well, pardon me. I, I am happy that you are still in the faith, that you still have faith. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, tomorrow is our Thanksgiving. I hope that uh, you will come with your family. Uh, we'll try. Now, wait a minute. Did I hear you say we'll try? Oh, we'll come. <laughs> I am glad. Good. No. Very well. I am happy. I'm happy that um, that you will come and that um, you are still in the fight. And besides, you know that um, it is an opportunity for you to give your testimonies. And certainly, you know that someone will be blessed. Okay? You will certainly be a blessing to some people who have had a few experiences. Your past experiences. God will bless you. Let, let us let us join others. So we're coming together. Well, let's say I changed my mind. Hmm. Well, we have testimony to give. What, what, what kind of testimony would that make? That the once I could walk, but now I can't. Good testimony. Maybe you told me that in all things, you should give thanks to God. Huh? Well, I'm not giving him any thanks this time around. And if you feel the need to thank him for making me a handicap and taking away my baby, then go ahead and do it. Do it now! I don't care. We are ready. Is he not going with us? Let's go. Look here, Ben. You've got Mama. Anna. Let's go. Okay. We're going. Bye bye. Bye bye. Guys, just go. And you, what are you still waiting for? Brother, I might not be able to feel what you're feeling. I might not be able to carry your pains. But I'm sure of one thing, that Jesus loves you. Hmm. Brother, when you were giving a gift of this house, we gave thanks. When you were promoted, you also thanked God. Brother, what if we are just preparing for your burial? What if you had died in that accident? How many policemen of your rank owns a house like this? How many of them? I'd just like to tell you that Jesus still loves you. He cares about you.
Christian born again and spirit filled. But you no go chop my change. If you try it, I want you to sleep or say, this is the way the guy is having. I said, I will beat you put for police station. The guy was like, ah, okay, I'm going to see the police. Oh, all up, I don't know if I can see you. Look at you. Come in, I'm going to see you. Move my money quick. You always say this kind of stories when you have food in your front. Everybody abuse me and you too. Anyway. I love telling interesting jokes like this when Becky prepares sumptuous meals like she has just done. I hope you'll be preparing such meals when you get to my house. I know Becky's meals are... Oh, thank you very much. Wonder what happened? Why come I didn't see you before then? Stop. <laughs> anyway, you learn to prepare meals like Becky does. Mama, I guess he taught her that. <laughs> but this thing, bros, it's like you're not hungry. You, see, you don't feel like eating or something. No. I can help you. You can have it. Let oh, him oh, eat oh, his oh. food. No, it's okay. He can have it. I he can as well have my remnant. But you've not had anything. Yes. You know, he loves eating from the back. Very difficult to live with. Mama, why are you saying this now? No, it's okay. It's Am okay. I not saying the truth? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Maybe I should talk to him. Brother to brother, man to man. Benno. Oh boy, Ben. Benny. Oh boy, Ben. Benno. Ben. 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 Guess what is it? Ben, what exactly is wrong with you? Did I tell anything is wrong with me? Okay, they said you've been you've been behaving funny, but Ben. Go ahead, say it! Donald?
Brother. Yes, Tina. I heard your wife crying in the bathroom. Maybe she's sick or she's not well or something. I don't know. I heard you shouting at her. Brother, please. I like Becky. I think she's a very nice woman. Thank you. Ben, why are you upsetting my daughter? Isn't it bad enough that you mistreat her? Will still make her cry? Hasn't she suffered enough in your hands? Mama, between us, who is suffering? That is not the point. Well, I agree with you. The point is, though I am crippled, I still own this house. I still can take care of myself and my family. I'll appreciate it if you leave us alone. Ben, you are rude. And you, you don't mind your business. What insolence. How dare you? How dare you talk to me in such a manner? I won't take this from you, Ben. So what are you going to do? This is my house. If, if you're not comfortable with the way things are going down here, then, then just leave us alone. Go, go. Becky, uh, look, look, Becky. You have to decide between us. It's either you pack your things with your mother's sins and leave me alone. Or, or I, I don't know because or you go and report me to the president, whoever you feel like. If do not, it's not enough to report me to. What insolence? What insolence? Becky, did you hear that? Did you see your husband? Did you see how rude he was to me? Huh? All I said was that... Mama. I think you should go and see Sister Florence. And she'll be wondering what's happening to you. Rebecca. Even you. My own daughter. Oh my God. Rebecca, you're driving me out of your house. Okay. I see. The same madness has caught up with you. Thank God your father. Mama, don't make me feel guilty, okay? God, what kind of a person are you? You were not even getting along with Papa before he died. Now it's worse. Mama, my marriage is crashing and you're not helping me. You're not! You said I'm not helping you. I am not helping you. I was trying to help you, but you are not helping yourself.
Lord, have your way in my life, oh Lord, have your way. Look, I, I really appreciate it if you stop discussing our matrimonial problems with everybody. Forgive me, but we all mean well. Um, baby, we've not been praying together. I don't see the need to. We need to thank God. What, what, what am I thanking God for? Fine, I can't walk. We lost our baby. To thank him for your life, my life. Is this life? Look, I'm done with God. I have served him faithfully all my life, and this is the reward. This is the reward. Had I known. Would have been a Satan worshiper. God, I reject it. What are you saying? Why are you rejecting it? You have been better to serve Stop. the wicked Satan. Stop. And you were serving Lucifer. Stop. And I will know it. I see I'm serving a living God and I, he can't bail me out of this. Oh Please stop it. Stop. I will stop. Stop it. I will stop. Oh my God, you will stop it. Oh my Satan, stop it too. Maybe and stop I it. What's that to stop? God has disappointed me and I feel let down. Stop calling God here anymore, please. Let stop it. Lord, unto you, I lift up my burdens. Don't let the world laugh me to scorn. Thought anything would come between us. Have pity on me and wipe away my tears and don't let me be ashamed. Lord, have your way. Lord, have. Look, I, I really appreciate it if you stop discussing our matrimonial problems with everybody. But I'm be... I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. Forgive me. But we all mean well. Um, baby, we've not been praying together. I don't see the need to. Thank God. What, what, what am I thanking God for? Fine, I can't walk. We lost our baby. What, what am I to thank him for? Your life. My life. Is this life? Look, I'm done with God. I have served him faithfully all my life and this is the reward this is the reward had i known would have been a satan worshiper god i reject it on this why, what are you saying why are you rejecting it you have been better to Stop. serve the wicked satan Stop. and you were serving lucifer Stop. and i will know it i see i'm serving a living god and i he can't bail me out of this oh Stop. I will stop. Stop it. I will stop. Oh my God, you will stop it. Oh my Satan, stop it too. Maybe and stop it. What's that to stop? God has disappointed me and I feel let down. Oh, baby, don't say that. Please. Stop calling God here anymore, please. Maybe stop it. Lord, unto you, I lift 
I'm waiting. You still haven't told me why you sent for me to come to your place so urgently. I mean, you said it was so urgent that you couldn't wait for me to finish from the office, so I'm here. Here. This is it. This is what? You don't like your engagement ring or what? Don, I want us to break this engagement now. Why? I want to pray to God some more. You see, I wouldn't want our marriage to end up like my brother and Becky's. They're quarreling and fighting every day. You know, sometimes I begin to wonder where is that love they once professed? Where is it today? Now, Tina, for starters, my marriage to you will not end up like Ben and Becky's, I mean, fighting. Uh, besides, why are we condemning them? Who says there can't be ups and downs in a relationship? I mean, they're bound to be ups and downs in every, every marriage. Look, I think all we should do is learn from the mistakes Becky and Ben have made or are making. I mean, instead of looking at it from a negative point of view. All right? And the Bible also says that all things work together for good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. So, when we get married, you and I, we shall not be fighting. We shall be marrying, you know? You understand that? Hmm? We're going to have a happy married life. And give me that smile. That's my girl. Mm. I love you, you know that. You know I really love you. Mm? to do honestly. He hates me. He hates God. He doesn't listen to anybody. He doesn't talk to anybody. Ben. Donald, I'm tired. Ben. Honestly, ben. I'm, I'm tired of this whole thing. I don't know what else to do. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay, Becky. Becky, remember you have me. Remember you have Mama. You have Tina. You have Pastor Susan. There's, there's the head pastor. We're, we're all going to stand by you. See, and most of all, you have Jesus, okay? The Bible says, those that call upon the name of the Lord shall be like Mount Zion that can never be shaken. Call upon God. Just keep trusting God, okay? God is with you, okay? Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Mm -hmm. God is there for you. 
God will take care of you, okay? He'll never let you down, all right? The arms of flesh will let you down, but Jesus will never let you down, okay? It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> It happens like that in most cases. You either lose your potassium or at best you gain partial erections. You mean I'm now a new knock? No, 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 no. Those are the wrong words. The accident only affected your spine. You've not been castrated. How more worse can it get? Take it easy. Just take it easy. All hope is not lost. There are some therapy available and I recommend you start immediately. What are my chances? Well, uh, I can say fair, but you never can tell. Miracles happen every day. Miracle? You mean it's going to take a miracle? thought anything would come oh, between God, us have pity on me and wipe away my tears Baby. and don't let me be ashamed Baby. Lord have Baby. your way I was afraid maybe. Oh, was afraid. And, you, and you thought I was dead. What? Look, I am not dead as you can see. I'm still very much alive. Okay? What in God's name are you talking about now? Oh, really? Never trust what That's okay. Dead.
a blessing. A blessing. <laughs> yes. Uh, Mama is upset, I guess. Yeah. I see. Oh, fine. But this time around, we're using our own access. Just use the other one. I think it's good to support you. It's a good thing. Don't be mad. We got two face. You know what we don't say? But we got access to the Brothers. Why are you always alone? Thanksgiving service. What happened? Um, I'm sorry I couldn't make it. Couldn't or would not make it. What difference would that make? Either way, I was not there. Let me tell you a story. There was a certain man who died and went to heaven. And as he was shown his past life, he looked at the sand and found footsteps. And that the footsteps were two pairs. And that at difficult times, there were one pair. He then turned and asked, Lord, God, why is it that at difficult times, there were one pair? And the Lord said to him, Are those difficult times of your life? Carried you. I carried you. Pastor, I, I know that story very well. I even have it framed in my office. I want you to know that God has been carrying you. I mean, you were once spirit filled and bubbling in the Lord. And is this not what I have to show for it, Pastor? And tell me, I might not have been the best there was. But God knows I did my best. I mean, look, look at what I have to show for it. Oh, spare me. Uh, Brother Ben, I know that you are unhappy. But I, I pray you, do not let your unhappiness bring you to sin. What? That I should not sin? Why shouldn't I sin? He destroyed me. He destroyed my life. He sinned against me. He violated me. He messed me up. And you, you are telling me about God. Hello, Pastor. Don't start with that gospel. I don't want to listen to that gospel now. You just spare me the message of the cross. Baby. Excuse me. Pastor. Let him be. If he did not mean what he said, he will come back. Let's join on us. Praise God! Hallelujah. Can I hear someone say, Hallelujah? Praise the living Father! Hallelujah. Look, I mean it. I don't want any form or sort of house fellowship in this house again. Look, I am the Lord and Master of this house. And if you think because I'm impotent, or because I'm crippled, you can do anything in this house, or bring in any money to this house, try it. Then I'll show you that I am a policeman. I'll blow you and the baggers up. You don't mean it. I don't mean it. Try me. You know I mean it. Wipe away all my tears Look down on me with me 
today we're going for a special lunch. Okay, I'm in for it. So now, you go dress, you know that your gown? Which one? I'm bringing out the hips. Come on. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's get ready then. All right. Congrats. Oh, baby, say that again. Let's go get ready. So we go to Chinese. It's okay. Have some prawns. Uh, huh? Okay. Celebrate this thing, you know? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I'm mesmerized. Whoa. Thank you, God. My feet is on you. Feet is on you. My feet is on you. My feet is on you. Men ask me, Where is your God? Men love me to scorn. People look at me and despise me and ask me, where is your Lord? I believe in you. All through my life I know you would never let me down. But Lord, the pains are too much. Lord, have your way. Have your way, oh Lord. Have your way in my life, Have your way in my life, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, It's not as if you can't cook for me. You're my sister. But is it too much to want your wife to cook for you? Is it? But brother, you know that auntie did everything. Auntie cooked the food. I only served you. Oh. Please come and eat. Oh. I'm welcome. Uh, hi, my dear. Oh. Uh. <laughs> How was the journey? Fine, thank you. Ben, as a Christian, I have decided to forgive you. I know you're not acting with your senses. And so, I let bygone be bygone. This woman is giving me a headache. What, what have I done to this woman? What, where have I offended you, woman? Sina, thank you, welcome. What are you doing here? Is that how to greet your mother? After a long journey, I came back. You can't say welcome to your mother. Can you imagine? Anyway, as a Christian, Christian, I have decided to forgive you and your husband for throwing me out of the house. Florence spoke to me and I know you people need help. So I decided to come back. I have come back. I went to the headquarters. Donald said I should go there. That, uh, I should ask the paymaster for a salary. Donald? Yeah, then from there I went to... So, so, so when did you start running my business for me? I just, just wanted to help. Donald said it's, it's a way of help if I go ask for, about your arrears. You know you've not been paid since after the accident. And... 
We've been living on love gifts and everything is almost exhausted. So you now decided to go to the paymaster and get my salaries, right? I didn't mean any harm. Oh, okay. Now, go to my bedroom. Okay, by the wardrobe you'll see my uniform. Okay? Wait, put it on. Go to my office. Sit on my desk. Do my duty for me. That way you'll be helping out better. Why are you talking like this? There's something wrong with me, right? Nothing that I do is right. I've been doing wrong things. Baby, please, I have enough problems on me. I can't go without your help. I can't. Then go pack your things with your mother's things and leave my house. Ah. Did I hear you say mother? Why are you people calling my name? What is wrong? What are you people discussing again? Then I've warned you. Like you have to this. Why did you come back? What are you doing here? You see what you have turned my daughter into? No, 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 you see what you've turned me into? You see what you're turning me into? You're frustrating me, woman! How dare you shout at me? How dare you? God, do you resist? What should I do to this woman?
it happens like that in most cases. You either lose your potency or at best you gain partial erections. You mean I'm now an eunuch? No, 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 no. Those are the wrong words. The accident only affected your spine. You've not been castrated. How more worse can it get? Take it easy. Just take it easy. All hope is not lost. There are some therapy available and I recommend you start immediately. What are my chances? Well, uh, I can say fair, but you never can tell. Miracles happen every day. Miracle? You mean it's going to take a miracle? It doesn't matter. Everything will be okay. All you have to do is just hold me, okay? Just hold me, please. Honey, not only have I lost my, my legs, I've equally lost my manhood. All is yeah. lost. I know God will heal you. You know only walk. You will also begin your manhood. When? Don't ask me. Don't ask me. Honestly, I'm not feeling anything. I feel dead here. Please. I don't feel anything, baby. You're touching me. I don't know what is wrong with him, whether it's his impotence or his leg that is worrying him, honestly. No. Listen, I know this is a trying time for the family. But God has given you the grace to carry on. God's words are his bonds. We've been praying, but it seems as if things are getting worse. But believe me, things are getting better. He hears us when we call him. Remember Psalms 23? It says, The Lord is your shepherd. You shall not want. Even though you walk through the valley of shadow of death, he is with you. He is your rod and he is your staff. So whatever you are going through, no matter how terrible, no matter how thick the cloud seems to look, he will see you through. He never lets you down. He will give you the grace to carry on. I'm so scared. I'm scared that he might take his life one day. No, 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 no. Now you are getting paranoid. 
Ben might be desperate, but not that desperate. Listen, everything is going to be okay. He never lets his children down, okay? And I'll keep praying for you. stand by their men after their man would have had such an accident. Most, most, most women would just probably take a walk. Right? I, I know of a particular instance where, 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 where the woman in question started sleeping around with her husband's friends. And you know, you know what that means. Are you trying to tell me something? Yes. What I'm trying to say is, you should be a little bit more considerate, brother. A little bit more considerate. I mean, is it only when things are good and rosy rosy that you worship God? I mean, do you only worship God in times of plenty? Oh. I'm glad you finally spoke your mind. During times of crisis, that one gets to know his real friends. So, that is it, huh? That is it. That is what, Ben. That is what. Because I'm now on wheelchairs, you, you, you're sleeping with my wife? What, what, what did you say? Ben! 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 May God bless you. May he reward you abundantly for this betrayal. Do, 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 do you know what? You, you need God's hand. Ben, you, 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 you need deliverance. You need God! Look, Ben. It's not because you're in this condition that you should insult me. Ben, you don't insult me because you're in this... Me. Me and Becky. Me and Becky. such an accident. Most, most, most women would just probably take a walk. Right? I, mean, I, I know of a particular instance where, 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 where the woman in question started sleeping around with her husband's friends. And you know, you know what that means. Are you trying to tell me something? Yes. What I'm trying to say is, you should be a little bit more considerate, brother. A little bit more considerate. I mean, is it only when things are good and rosy rosy that you worship God? I mean, do you only worship God in times of plenty? Oh. I'm glad you finally spoke your mind. During times of crisis, that one gets to know his real friends. So, that is it, huh? That is it. That is what, Ben. 
That is what. Because I'm now on wheelchairs. You, you, you sleeping with my wife? What, what, what did you say? Ben. 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 May God bless you. May he reward you abundantly for this betrayal. Do you know what? You, you need God's hand. Then you, 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 you need deliverance. You need God! Look, Ben, it's not because you're in this condition that you should insult me. Ben, you don't insult me because you're in this... Me. Me and Becky. Ben, you disappoint me. God. Me. Me and Becky. Me and Becky. Sorry, I'm, I'm fine. And how are you? I'm fine. Where are you coming from? I went to the paymaster. Then to the church. Let's go in, okay? No, 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 no. Thank you. I actually I was on my on my way out. I'll, I'll see you. I'll see people later. Eh? And hey, how did he go with the uh, paymaster? He talked and talked. You know, he was just talking about procedures. Huh? These people. I mean, the Nigerian police force, do they ever stop to think of what happens to a, a wounded policeman? What happens to his family? What happens to his dependents? How do they survive? I mean, take you for instance. Does anybody even care it's what, what, okay. what, what... Do you know what I've been thinking? I don't know. I want to take a job. Yeah, no. Tina can take care of Ben when I'm not around. I can't go on depending on you. You know, sometimes I can't stop imagining what what would have happened to Ben if I had died in that accident. I really thank God for sparing our lives, honestly. You know, Becky, sometimes when I hear you talk like this, I mean, this is exactly how that stubborn goat of a husband... That's your husband. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry for using those words. But this is how Ben should be sounding. Thanking God for everything. But not Ben. Ben is such an ingrate. Ben should be sounding as grateful as you are sounding. I mean, look. It's ben okay. cannot even it's say okay. thank okay. you to God. I know he would work. Amen. I'm believing God for a miracle. I know sooner than I expect, all this situation will be testimony. I know that. Becky, I really thank God when I hear you speak like this. I really thank God for your life. I mean, you know, sometimes, you know, you blow my mind. You know, the Bible says, he who finds a wife finds it a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. You are an epitome of a good wife. You are exactly who and what a good wife should be. And God will bless you. God will bless you for this patience you've had with my friend. God will bless you, eh? Here, um, I think this is, um, this is about 7,000 7, are all. I, I will just manage this, okay? No, I can't. You've Look, done enough already. It's me, it's Donald. Look, I'm your friend. I'm your brother. I, I, I know what you are going through. I understand. Okay? I understand. Please just take this. I mean, the other day they were, they were saying something about his drugs, his food in the house and everything. Just, just take this, eh? Can you take the manager? No, no, I can't. Thank you. It's okay. No, 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 no. Look, I know, I know, I know Ben needs drugs. I know, I know you guys need food at home and everything. And I understand. Okay? I'm not a stranger. Please. It's, it's okay, Becky. Take it. It's me. It's me. Thank you. Okay. 
Why are you crying? <laughs> I mean, your mother and brother, he... You're everything. It's okay, stop crying. <laughs> God is in control, okay? is in control. He'll take care of you. Coming from? Where are you coming from? I'm coming from the headquarters. Then from there I went to the church. Just say you went whoring. Huh? And you left us all alone to fend for ourselves. I beg your pardon. <sighs> I mean, look, look. Let this be the last time I'll ever see Donald's feet in this house again. I don't ever want to see him in this house. Okay? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not? It's so shameless. Look, 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 brother Ben. The way you are handling this matter is um, very, very wrong. The Bible says that in all things we must give glory to God. I mean, fighting everybody is not the answer. Pastor, I'm not thankful about my accident. And the fact that I'm confined to a wheelchair, I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not laudable. Two, that my best friend is sleeping with my wife is not an issue to thank God over. Now, now wait a minute, Brother Ben. Why are you making such insinuations? Uh, Pastor, I, I know my wife. It's Claire. I know my wife, the way she behaves when she's falling. I mean, it's very obvious. Why are you getting unnecessarily suspicious about your wife? Eh? Why get unnecessarily suspicious? I mean, for Christ's sake, I think I, think I know the problem. You, you, you do need a psychiatrist. You, you are just driving paranoid. What did you say, Pastor? You need that I need a psychiatrist? I thought you were going to come to find a solution to this. Instead of you to see things the way they are, I mean, you chose to, 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 to take side to my enemies? Oh. Oh, I know better. Brother Ben, what exactly are you? What are you driving at? Do I you... see. I mean, you're just getting unnecessary energy. For Christ's sake, I know your wife, and certainly your wife cannot at this point in time in your life abandon you and sleep outside. Now, why, are you, why are you crazy? Enough, you? enough, Pastor. Thank you. Bless you. Bless you. Your wife has done so much for you. What, what in the name of God are you doing? Don't you know that's a private discussion? What kind of private discussion is that? What kind of private discussion? Did you hear the pastor? The pastor said that the man that you married is going mad. Why are you like this? I warned you. I warned you from the very beginning not to marry him. But you went ahead and married a madman. Mama, what kind of a person are you? Why are you like this? Where is your love? Where is your heart? And you claim to be a Christian. I am a bona fide Christian. I have love and I have a heart. But I'm not blind. I can see that the man that you married is going mad. And I'm telling you, you don't want to listen. He is going mad. Go and see his mad.
be upon this house and upon the people and upon the You're all dressed. Yes. Is there any problem? I was just, I was just wondering. It's unusual. Well, let's say I've decided to start going to the office. What for, if I may ask? Well, if I must tell you, one, my best sleep. Two, I can't remember the police force discharging me. So I still have a bona fide right to my office. And um, that reminds me about your pay slip. I petitioned the IG and um, I'm expecting his reply soonest. Do you know that funny paymaster guy threatened me with an ugly room trial? I'm serious. That man. That bastard. Uh-uh, Ben. If he wants to eat my pension, let him go ahead and eat it. But I know it's only God that will punish him. He will never see any good thing on earth. Ben. No, listen. He, he will have, for, for being so wicked to me, thunder will strike every Ben! Ah, what? You are sounding like a pagan. You are sounding like a Christian. Ben, God does not punish people. And the Bible says, in your anger, do not sin. Stop preaching to me about God! You. I thought I warned you to stop coming to my house. Sometimes, Ben, you make it sound as if the whole world is coming to blast you, Judas. Step back! Put that thing away. That thing is a gun. I'm loaded too. Out. I'll kill you! Ben, I beg you. Ben, I beg you, put that thing away. That thing is a gun and it can kill even a policeman. Ben, you can't do that. I can't! And I will. You betrayed me, Donald. You deceived me. and start saying all your trash, telling my wife sweet things to turn her on. I hate you! Do you know what it takes to sit on a wheelchair? Do you know? Who the hell do you think you are? Who the hell do you think you are, Donald? Nobody. Mr. Fine? Mr. Handsome? God, I will kill you! Look, Ben. Ben, see. Do you know what I And you? I'm sure you're satisfied now. You never liked me. So you can now go with your daughter to wherever you think you want to go. I don't need her, neither do I ever need you. Not any of you. Look, I think I... Look, I beg you in God's name. Please, please. Thank you. Please. 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 What? Please. Loves you. Nobody loves me. You all feel pity for me. I don't need any of your pities anymore. Look, I think I'll end it this way. Ah!
I give you my all. I believe in you, Lord. All through my life, I never thought anything would come between us. Have pity on me and wipe away my tears. And don't let me be ashamed, Lord. Have your way. Pastor, it was that bad. It was that bad. In fact, if not for the timely intervention of God, we would have heard a different story altogether. You see, I feared that um, this sort of thing might happen. And that is why I have been praying ceaselessly against it. Honey, what do we do? This is becoming too much. In fact, I, I had to confiscate his gun. That was one of the reasons why I closed late from the office today. I had to see the Commissioner of Police to sign and tell them I was going to be in custody of the gun so that um, he doesn't cause any bodily damage to himself again. Donna, what are you talking about? There are a million and one ways in which he can take his life. Mommy, why would a young man like Ben, why would a young man like Ben want to kill himself? A, a young man with a great future ahead of him wanting to destroy... Listen, that is the devil for you. The devil will look for means and ways to get at us. The devil is taking the opportunity that our brother Ben is sick to make us unhappy, to disintegrate us, to bring disharmony in this family and in our Christian fold. We will not allow it. I don't know what else to do. I'm confused. I don't know. It's okay. You have been brave, and I know it is not easy, but in it all you have a testimony. Talking about testimonies, yes, we promise you, the time for your testimony will come. The Bible says that we do not fight against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers that be. The medical world might have a name. But also the Bible says that no matter what name that anyone might answer, such names will bow at the mention of one, of one name. And that is the name of Jesus Christ. So I want all of us rise up now, begin to open our mouth, cast and by the way, all the evil forces in this world responsible for the misadventure, disappointments, not only in this house, but also in our respective businesses and yes. in our Christian food. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Father, we thank you for this hour. Father, we thank you for the Thank you because by the of Jesus we are healed. Father, you have said. Thank you for giving me the hope of the As a Lord, we know that you are the Lord. We know that you are the Lord. We know that you are the Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for our brothers and sisters. Amen. As we live here now, 
We shall get safely back to our respective homes in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Um, Mama, it is well. Mm -hmm. I want you to take care of your daughter and your son-in-law. Okay. And of course, uh, our sister here. It is well. Uh, however, before we leave, we shall once more take the chorus and thank God for this moment. It shall be permanent. permanent. It shall be permanent. permanent. What the Lord has done for me, it shall be permanent. permanent. It shall be permanent. you want. Haven't I tried? Haven't I suffered enough for you? Is it my fault? Did I put you there? Everybody's talking about what everybody's saying is not what you want. What you're saying is what you want to do. Is that our fault? Are you blaming us? What do you want me to do? For you? Haven't I tried? Well, I've got good news for you. If you think you can make me a widow so soon. No, 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 Lord, have your way. In my life, oh Lord, have your way. Oh, Eddie! Oh, oh, Mama! In my 
Becky, Becky, no, oh my God, Becky, Becky, no, I am, I'm going back to God, okay, it's okay now, oh God, Tina, to scorn, people look at me and despise me, and ask me, where is your Lord? I believe in you All through my life I know you would never let me down But Lord, the pains are too much Lord, have your way Have your way, oh Lord, in my life Have your way have your way in my life, oh Lord, have your way in my life, oh Lord, have your way, oh, have your way, Lord, have your way, Lord, in my life, oh Lord. Please, God, if there has to be retribution, let me pay, kill me. It is I who sinned. But please, God, let's make it live. Calm down. Mm. Mm. Just believe in the word of God. Mm. She'll be fine. Mm. She'll be all right. Mm. Everything is under control, I can assure you. Why all these temptations? Why all these problems? From one problem to the other. One problem to the other. All we have to do now is to face the storm as it is and just pray over the situation. God. I want us to have faith in the Lord. Let us pray. I am confident that um, we shall weather the storm. She'll be fine. Everything will be fine, Mama. How long has she been with you? They took her in since we came in. In fact, I've, since we came in, I've lost count of time. <sighs> Several hours. I don't really know. Mama. Oh, God. It's okay.
Well, um, I'm happy to say that the second operation was a success. Praise the Lord. Praise God. As we all know, um, we all have done all that is medically possible. Um, right now, all is in the hands of God. So what are her chances of recovery? Well, uh, Madam, um, it is a 50-50 chance. Right now, she's still in coma. Um, she could uh, snap out of it or be like this till she dies. No, we reject that in Jesus' name. God forbid. The Lord that we serve, the Lord that I serve, will never allow that to happen. Amen. It is well, Doctor. She will get out of it. Amen. I'm positive about it. Amen. She will put through it. Jesus Almighty. Amen. Amen. Well, um, that's all I have for you for now. I suggest you all go home and rest. We've given out all that is possible for now. Thank you very much, I'll Doctor. Show you that be well. huh? Doctor, thank you so much. You're welcome. The Lord will use you and certainly use you well. You're most welcome. She is well. Thank you, Mother. Have a nice Cheers, Mother. Cheers, Mother. Ready to kill me too. God, what do I do? Jesus, please help me. Ben, you've been here all day and all night. Now, why don't I take you home? Oh, well, Pastor, I'm okay. Is there any news? Oh, well, she's had her second operation, and uh, I can assure you that uh, everything will be fine. But you see, we must have faith. Everything will be fine. By the way, that reminds me. You've not eaten anything since yesterday. Pastor, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm just, I'm just worried. When are we to expect this good news? In God's time. God's time. In God's time. Brother Ben, everything is all right. I can assure you that. Come on, why don't I take you home so that you can have your hot bath and then take your meal? I assure you, it will work wonders, okay? Oh, Pastor, I'm okay. I, I, I just I just want to stay here and see her alive. Brother Ben, I insist. No, Pastor, please. No, I insist. I insist that I must take you home because um, you have really tried. Ben, 
fear not for God has taken absolute control. I want to assure you that better days are just around the corner. I think I have failed God woefully. I was too involved in self-pity, jealousy, that I failed to see the situation. I, I know how it is. I know the way you feel about it. I mean, it's not easy for a man with so much vitality to, you know, suddenly find himself in a wheelchair. I must commend your dexterity. You've already tried. Pastor, now you tickle me. <laughs> was you who told me, uh, look, I was handling things wrongly? Oh, well, you know how it is. There is a purpose. Well? What would I give to have her heal and hurt you again? She will definitely be alright. She will be well, I can assure you. In the fullness of time, God will take absolute control and measure so you don't have a problem. I just want you to relax, okay? Alright, Pastor. all the assurance you need to get before you get married to a woman before you can say I do so well she's the best anyway thank you where is she oh she's getting better her forces are getting normal just that she's still in the coma it's going to be well in, in, in fact it is well Amen. it is well I, I just know it is well Jesus. Yeah, so, um, how is the office? Fine, no, my brother, fine. <laughs> that reminds me, um, I got a reply from the IG pertaining your issue. He has ordered for the immediate payment of your salary and what? your arrears. What? I, I forgot to tell you, right? Yow! This, this is good news. Mm -hmm. This is worthy of celebration, you know? I mean, how can I celebrate when my woman is still doing it? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. She needs to hear this news, you know? I want you to excuse me. I want to change her. Okay, okay with her obsession. Thank you.
day I saw God's miracle, in fact, God is awesome. Babe, doctors are in shock. shock. And if God has done it. What miracle is this? Oh, calm down and tell me. What's it about? You know, immediately you left the hospital after praying for Corporal Benson. Immediately you finished praying and left. The guy snapped. He woke up. He rose again from the dead. The doctors. Stop. Hey, carry on. The doctors could Did not. Did you sell it properly? Yes, come here, come here. Did you sell it properly? Yes, sir. Get down. Do it right. All these are boys. We didn't grow like this. You know? You know one CP. Carry on. No one IG. I think you are joking with God's giftings in your life. You have the gift of healing. You should work on it seriously. To God be the glory. No, I'm serious. You should, you should be listening Let to God. Let no man take glory to himself. He who has started a good job in our life okay. will be faithful to crown it. Amen. Amen. I give him the glory. But consider it to God. <laughs> because does he touch men, anointing, the Lord. Remember that our colleague I was just singing about? Mm -hmm. Inspector James, now the guy that had an accident. I told you it was a mass of blood and tissue. Yeah. Jesus Christ. The doctors had given up on him. Your husband came in from nowhere. I was watching him. You know, with this serious assurance. My dear, Braben laid hands on this guy. Just one short word of prayer. Father, I thank you for this one because he's not going to die. That was all. Believe me. The guy started breathing. The doctors were amazed. Jesus Christ. You know, Braben does not even know how much God has put into him. I think he does. I pray he does. Because that's no, this gift of healings. He prayed for him. This guy woke up, said coughing. I know you know. Sometimes I just have this belief that God has called Braben for greater things. God has put so much in him that one of these days I know he will stand in the pulpit and he will reach the nations for Christ. Amen. I know God will use him to touch people, Amen. touch lives for Christ. Amen. I know he will reach peoples for Jesus. Amen. I know one thing. No, I, I see it, I feel it, I sense it in my bone marrow that God is calling Brother Ben. Someday, <laughs> that your husband is going to be Reverend Ben and you will be Reverend Mrs. Yeah. <laughs> which you have purchased of old, the tribe of your inheritance, which you have re redeemed, this Mount Zion, where you have dwelt. Lift up your feet to the perpetual desolations. The enemy has damaged everything in the sanctuary. Your enemies roar in the midst of your meeting place. Father, I want to pray for forgiveness of sins. I want to pray that Lord God, I have sinned against you. I have sinned against heaven. I have sinned against all that love and cherish me. But I pray that you forgive me in Jesus' name. I pray that, Lord God, you have mercy upon me. 
Father, your word said you are able and you can accomplish all that is set before you. I pray that, Lord God, you heal her now. You heal her in Jesus' name. Father, do not look upon my iniquities. Do not look at my blasphemies. Do not look upon all I've said in the past. Oh, Father, because of the cross, because of Jesus, because of Calvary, Father, heal her, touch her, Lord. Bring her back to me. Father, give her life again. Let her healing be a promise of your forgiveness for my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Because you have forgiven me. Thank you because you have healed her. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Brother, can't you go home and rest? I'm okay. See, funny enough, I am no more troubled. I knew something good was going to come out of this. And I still believe God. There was this perfect peace of God that rested upon me last night after that prayer. Amen. Thank God, I feel so relieved. Amen. 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 I'm trusting him. I believe him for this miracle. I'm holding him like the woman with the issue of blood. I'm challenging him. Tina! Ben! Yeah. Tina! Ben! Ben! Ben, she's awake. What? She's awake. Thank God, though. God is so wonderful. Please. Let her go. Go! Wait for me. Ben, come! Come, Ben! 
Wait for me! Wait, wait for me! Wait for me! Wait, wait for me! Wait! I give you my all. I believe in you, Lord, all through my life. I never thought anything would come between us. Have pity on me and wipe away my tears. And don't let me be ashamed. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way in my life, oh Lord, have your way in my life, oh Lord, have your way in my life, oh Lord. Men ask me, where is your God? Are too much, Lord, have your way. 